Hello, my little yarnivores and spiderettes, Fiber Spider back again with the continuation of the Virus Meets Granny blanket, and we are on round six. I hope you're doing really well today, and uh, looking forward to continuing on with our series. So, now in the last one, we did, it was ten double crochets into each chain seven space. Now, we're going to start by chaining up three, one, two, three, and that of course is going to count as a double crochet, and then in each of the double crochets that we did prior, just one double crochet in each. So we've got two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, be aware, you know, I always stress this, be aware that this right here is our single crochet, not a double crochet, okay? It's very easy, you know, to get that mixed up, you know? So be aware that where I went into last right here is our double crochet, and do not do another double crochet into this stitch right here. Otherwise, your count will be off, okay? So we did our 10 double crochets. Now going into this chain four space, single crochet, chain four, single crochet into the next chain four space, and so as I mentioned before we had three chain four spaces in the last round, two chain four spaces, now we've got one chain four space. All right, so now into each of these double crochets, one double crochet in each and again, this right here is not a double crochet. That is our single crochet that we joined. So be aware of that. So going into this stitch, you know, and the fact that I'm using a color change yarn really helps, you know, to see that a little bit better. So a double crochet into each. And then when we reach the next set of 10, it's going to be a double crochet into each. And by no means do I wish to be redundant as far as being aware of, you know, which is double crochet and which is a single crochet and so forth. But it is very, very, very easy to fall into those little traps. And I just really want to help you to avoid those problems because it's very easy to have your stitch count messed up as a result. All right, so we did our 10 double crochets in here, and now we're just going to continue on with our double crochets with the second set of 10. So it's going to be a total of 20 double crochets. Real easy. You know, not difficult at all, as I miss my my yarn. <laughs> you know, it's it's pretty straightforward and once you get used to how the pattern works, you know, you'll be able to do it no problem, I'm sure. And of course, if you are familiar like I said with the the virus stitch specifically the virus blanket, you know, you'll have no problem with this. Okay, so again, being careful that, you know, this is the last double crochet that I just worked into, skipping this single crochet, going into the next chain four space with a single crochet, and then chain four, one, two, three, four, single crochet into the next chain four space, 
and then popping right into our double crochets on this side with double crochets. So skipping this single crochet going into the double with double crochets. Alrighty. You know, it is a bit of a pain when you actually have to count how many double crochets you do in your chain seven loops, um, but this is a bit more straightforward. It's just, you know, doing a stitch within a stitch, you know, just a matter of following suit with pre-existing foundation work. All right, so I got my, my 10 here, and now we need to do another 10. And so I'm not actually going to double count these stitches because I'm pretty confident that I am doing it correctly, at least in this instance. Hmm. All right, so I'm just going to keep on keeping on. Like so. All right, and we have reached our chain four space once again. So hopping right in with a single crochet stitch, chain four, and a single crochet into the next chain four space, and then continuing right along with a double crochet into each stitch. So we've got three, four, five, six, oops, seven, eight. nine and ten but now we need to do the next ten one two three <clears throat> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then a single crochet into the next chain four space, a chain four, single crochet into the next chain four space. And then hopping right in with the last of our double crochets for this round. So it's just 10 more to go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then slip stitch into that first, the top of that first double crochet. Like so. And that's the end of round six. Ta-da! Alrighty. Alrighty, onwards to round seven. Now before I want to show you... Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love it. It reminds me of um, like a 
an African violet or a pansy. It's just absolutely darling. So also I wanted to show you this because now if you remember we did it was a, a solid round, a solid round, and then a round where it was a double crochet with a chain one space. Well it follows suit really because it's a solid round, a solid round, and then this next next round, uh, round seven, it's going to be another one where we have the chain one spaces. So it does follow suit. You know, I mean, it looks a little bit different from the center, of course, but it does follow suit. So I'm just pulling out myself some yarn here, and we're going to hop right in with our round seven. But I like to sort of help you navigate where we are within the pattern. You know, I find it helpful in the long run. So start by chaining up four because we need a double crochet and a chain one space, then into the next double crochet, just a double crochet. So it's two double crochets with a chain one space in between, chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet, chain one. Pretty self-explanatory after a while, right? You know, so we're having this nice open sort of mesh work going on all the way around. And when we reach our, our spot here, things will be a little bit different, but not significantly. So it's just a matter of doing a double crochet in each double crochet separated by a chain one space. No big deal. But as always, be aware of where your last double crochet is and not doing a double crochet into your single crochet. You know, always, always, always. Um, now, because it's a different style of row, um, we're not going to do a chain one after this last double crochet. We're going to immediately do a double crochet into the double crochet on this side. Again, being aware not to do the stitch into the single crochet, but into the double crochet. So we're just sort of bridging the gap and hopping on over to the other side. So we're skipping all the way over going into this double crochet on this side, and we're bridging the gap, just like so. Now you could conceivably do a chain one, you know, in between this double crochet and this double crochet. I, however, am not, but you can if you want to, you know, do whatever suits your fancy. I am not here to judge, I'm just here to help. So after doing that double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet into the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet, and so on and so forth all the way through these double crochets. So it's just chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And, you know, because I'm not following a specific pattern, it's sort of a hodgepodge amalgamation of various patterns, you know, I can provide you with, you know, sort of the, the groundwork and so forth. But if you have variations that you want to use, I say more power to you, definitely. I, you know, I am not one to stifle a person's inspiration or their creativity. I encourage it by all means. You know, do what you want to do. You know, if you want to follow along, great. If you want to, you know, march to the beat of your own bongos, I say even better. You know, but ultimately what I'm here for is I'm here for you. And I want to help you to do whatever it is that will help you to achieve what you're going for.
That's my goal. Because you can do it, you know, definitely. You know, you may be a little discouraged if a, a stitch or a pattern doesn't quite work out the way you wanted it to. If you, you know, went out on your own and you're experimenting. Well, you know what? If you learn something from the experience, it's not wasted time. No, it's a learning experience. It's not a mistake. It is a learning experience. And I say go with it. Um, because I had to do some fiddling and finagling with this pattern as I was working it. So, all right. Now we have our 20 double crochets separated by chain one spaces. <clears throat> and we've reached, you know, the the bridge that we have to do right here. So again, I am not doing a chain one after this double crochet here. I'm just going to go directly into the double crochet on the opposite side over here with a, a double crochet. And then my continuation of the chain one and double crochet into each stitch. Chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and I know that I'm showing a lot of the actual stitching right now, and I'm yammering on a little bit, and I know that it's not everybody's cup of tea, and you want me to cut to the chase and get to the point, and I know also that there are a lot of you that you know, I've, I've read many comments that, you know, me chit-chatting with you guys, it's like having company, you know, and I appreciate that, you know, because you guys are definitely a fabulous community of people, and I love spending time chit-chatting with you, not just on here, but also through private messages and so forth on, on Facebook and on Instagram and so on and so forth, and you know, I love talking to you guys, and I love spending time with you guys, because you guys are like my second family, um, and, you know, it's, it's just, it's nice to kibitz, you know, it's, it's nice to catch up with each other. I know I haven't done a, a live stream in quite some time. I would like to again. You know, don't get me wrong. I would like to again. I, you know, I've just been really rather busy with things. So in a sense, this is, you know, just as much of a crochet along as it is sort of a, as I, I think I put it once before, a, a stitch and twitch, you know, um, you know, I got my coffee on the end table over there and, uh, you know, I just like, you know, chit chatting with you guys. I just do, you know. If, on the other hand, you want to skip ahead, hey, you can do that too. You know, I won't take offense. I won't even know it. All right, so uh, I did my, my 20 double crochets over here. And so I have to bridge the gap right over here. So going right in with another double crochet. Oops, if I can get it. <laughs> There we go. And just keep on going with your double crochets and chain ones. All right, my yarn's getting a bit tangled. Hang on one second and I'll be right back. Alrighty, continuing along with round seven. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, uh, you know, I, I really do enjoy spending time catching up with you guys, you know, letting you know what I'm working on, where I'm at, um, you know, all, all sorts of things. You know, you guys are my friends, you know, and I love hearing about what you are all working on and seeing your pictures. And um, some of you have asked, you know, I don't know where to post pictures. Well, you can, you know, you can post them on, you know, if you have an Instagram account, you know, you can post them on there. And, you know, if you want to, you can always, you know, um, mention me in the description if you 
you know, did the, the project uh, based on one of my tutorials, it's totally up to you, of course, you know. I don't need an honorable mention. I appreciate it, but I don't need one, you know, it's okay. Um, but if ever you want to show me, you know, any of the things that you're working on, um, or if you ever need any advice or anything like that, do I respond to everybody? No, I am perfectly willing to admit that I don't respond to everybody, but I do try. I very much try to respond to as many people as I can. It's not easy. You know, I will be the first to admit it. It is not easy, but I do make a concerted effort to respond to people when they have questions or requests and so forth. Um, but, you know, something I hope that you guys can keep in mind, I do all of this on my own. I do not have any sort of support staff or <laughs> anything like that by any stretch of the imagination. No, I do all of this work on my own. So it, you know, it's not easy. You know, it takes me time to do these projects. Um, and I've reached another, another gap here. So we need to go directly into the double crochet onto this side right in here. Like so. Now, I don't have any, any support staff or anything like that. So um, you know, and between this channel and my other channel, Fiber Spider Games, it takes up a lot of time. And I don't mind it so much because I'm doing what I love, but it does take a lot of time. And, um, you know, so if you guys could appreciate that fact, I would appreciate your appreciation. And then we could all appreciate together. <laughs> All right, and we're almost done with round seven. See, almost done. Now, I'm here for you guys as much as I can be, and I really hope that you all know that. If I could clone myself and have duplications of myself, you know, that would really be helpful, but we haven't reached that level of science fiction into science reality just yet. Hmm. All right, so we've reached the very end, so I just need to chain one and do a slip knot, sorry, not slip knot, a slip stitch into the third stitch from the bottom so that we maintain that chain one space on the side there. And there we go. We have our slip stitch. Ta-da! Perfect. And so now, as you can see, you know, granted, I have to flatten this out quite a bit because it is a bit warbly, but, you know, if you fiddle with it a bit, it will lay flat. It will. All right. So now, following suit with what I was talking about before, so we have our double crochets with a chain one space, right? Well, from here, we had our double crochets with a chain one space. So now we create our new virus loops. You know, I don't know if I'm coining a term or anything, but the, the new loops. Um, and we're going to be doing those around our exterior for round eight. All right. So we will, we will continue right along. All right. All right. Round eight. All righty. So I'm going to start with a chaining up of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and skipping this first chain one space going into the second with a single crochet. Okay, now we need three chain four spaces, so one, two, three, four, skip a space, go into the next with a single, chain four, one, two, three, four, skip a space going into the next with a single, chain four, one, two, three, and four, skip a space going into the next with a single. All right, so now we need to create another virus loop. So that being said, you know, and this is really the main difference you know, for the rest of the pattern, we're creating some new large virus loops. So chain seven again, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. So we're skipping this chain one space, the middle space, and this chain one space. So we're going into this one right here. So technically you're sort of skipping three spaces, one, two, and three, going into this one right over here with a single crochet. So get a nice big virus loop right here. So now we need uh, three, four chains. So one, two, three, four, skip a space going to the next with a single crochet, two more, one, two, three, four, skip a space going to the next with a single, and one more, one, two, three, four, skip a space going into the next with a single, and now we need our two chain seven loops because we've reached the corner, right? So chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip a space going into the next with a single. Chain seven again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip a space going into the next with a single. So we've created our official corner right here. Okay. And then back to three more chain four spaces. One, two, three, four. Skip a space going into the next with a single. Two more times. One, two, three, four. Skip a space, single crochet in the next. One more, one, two, three, four. Skip a space going to the next with a single. And we have to bridge the gap with another chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skipping three spaces, so that's one, two, and three, going to this space right here with a single crochet. All right, three more chain four spaces. One, two, three, four. Skip a space going into the next with a single. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip a space going into the next with a single. One more chain four space. One, two, three, four. Skip a space, single crochet into the next. And we've reached another corner. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip a space, single crochet into the next. Chain seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip a space into the next with a single. Okay, so we have our two chain seven spaces, right? So three more chain four spaces. One, two, three, four. Skip a space, single in the next. Two more chain four spaces. One, two, three, four. Skip a space, single crochet into the next. Chain four. Okay, skip a space, single crochet into the next. Now I've got to bridge the gap again. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip three spaces going into the single, do a single crochet into this chain one space right over here. <clears throat> okay. And then three more chain four spaces. One, two, three, four. Skip a space, single crochet into the next chain four. Skip a space, single crochet into the next. And then one more. One, 
two, three, four. Skip a space, single crochet into the next. All right, so we've reached the corner, so two chain seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip a space, single crochet into the next. Chain seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip a space, single crochet into the next. Okay. Three more chain four spaces. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Skip a space, single crochet into the next. One, two, three, four. Skip a space, single crochet. One, two, three, four. Skip a space, single crochet. And then we have to bridge the gap again with a chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip three spaces going into this one right over here with a single crochet. Chain four. Skip a space going into the next with a single. Chain four again. Skip a space going to the next with a single. Chain four. Skip a space going into the next with a single. Okay, and we reached our beginning. So chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip a space going into the next with a single crochet and then slip stitch into this stitch right here. And we'll slip stitch. And there you go, that's the end of round eight. Yeah. So as you can see, as we continue right along, how the pattern is going to develop. We're going to have more and more of these as we keep going. Um, and this sort of distributes our piece more evenly. So we still have our two in the corners and so on and so forth, you know, in the, the three chain four loops. Um, but, you know, it is going to continue as is. And I, I, I always gush about the colorways and I think it's worth gushing over because this is gorgeous. All right, so that's the end of round eight. All righty, so I'm going to leave off this part here with round eight. Um, you know, as always, I really hope that you're enjoying this, and I hope that you can appreciate how thorough I'm trying to be in the explanation of this pattern, as always. Um, you know, I, I don't feel that I would be doing my job if I weren't thorough. Um, and, uh, you know, I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, please hit the little thumbs up button down below. Your support always means so very much to me. Also, I would love to hear comments, uh, some suggestions, you know, whatever you want to say. You know, I'm, I'm all ears. And if you haven't hit subscribe, please do so, uh, because I do try to post as often as I can. And I would like to continue on with this series if you guys are interested in seeing it, of course. And also, if you want to see more, hit subscribe. And uh, so until next time, I hope you all stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.